Welcome back. In this lecture, we will set up link aggregation using teaming. We will be using virtual box to set up the teaming connections. So there are some prerequisites to for link aggregation for virtual box. We will attach three adopters and promiscuous mode should be set to allow all for all the three adopters. Out of these three adopters, one will be used as management interface and two others will be the part of teaming network. After we power on the machine, we need to give this command on the two machines that will be part of link aggregation or the teaming interface. It is preferred to set up the teaming connection from the console connection of the machine but in our case I have set up three interfaces one as a management interface and we will get SSH access on the management interface and set up teaming on the other two interfaces. Let us delete all the connections and configure the interfaces one by one. Now all connections are deleted. Now we have three connections, we have three interfaces or we have three physical interfaces connected to this machine. We will give this command on the two interfaces that will be part of link aggregation. P 0 S3 and S8 will be the part of link aggregation so we give this command on these two interfaces. ENP0 S9 will act as a management interface. <coughs> so we connect we add a new connection type for ENP0 S9 that is Ethernet 0 or we can it can be any name connection name can be anything. It really depends on your likings. Now we need to give the static IP to this interface. It has picked up the dynamic IP address from the DHCP server. Either we can use NMCLI or NMTUI to set up the IP address schemes. We need to give the manual IP scheme for Ethernet 0. With the manual IP, we can access this machine over the SSH and configure link aggregation from the SSH connection. We don't have any DNS server, but you can define any DNS server over here. That really depends on your requirements. 
I mean we don't have DNS server for this setup. During the exam you might be required to enter the DNS settings as well. Now we reload the connection, deactivate and activate. This is similar to system restart network. It will reset the network related services and this command will reset this interface. We just verify the connectivity from the phys physical machine or from the host machine to this virtual machine. So they are pingable. This IP is pingable. Now we take the SSH access from the host machine to this physical ma to this virtual machine so that we can configure the link aggregation remotely. Just change some settings for the SSH or for the putty connections to make the fonts readable and save this session. We'll log all the commands for this session in this file. And once you press save, this setting will be saved for this putty connection. Log on to the machine. <coughs> this is the IP of Ethernet Zero. We have taken the SSH access. Just verify the basic settings before we proceed with the link aggregation. This host name is not required for link aggregation. I am just giving the host names to identify these machines. Now we proceed with the link aggregation with the teaming with the teaming package. You can see all the commands with the main page and then CLI examples. Once we install the required package, it's already installed, so we don't need to do any much effort for this. You can, you can open this main page and all the steps or examples are nicely written uh, under this main page. And a team master and two slave connection profiles. You can see this example number seven. Now, just go to this path and copy the required configuration that you want to configure active backup, broadcast, load balance, random, or round robin. Whichever configuration you want, you can copy this the required file or required configuration under your required path. For the moment, I'm copying it under the root in the name load.conf, load balance configuration. Let's <coughs> configure this file, this file. This file should be looking like this for the load balance. Remove the first and last line and remove the comma after this line. There should not be any commas or you might face some errors.
so this is a very easy method for teaming setup you keep on pressing the double tab and it will keep on showing you the helps it will keep on displaying you the next available commands Network type is team and connection name. It can be any name that you want. Team 01 in our case. And then the interface name. Then the con we are telling it to load the configuration from this config file root slash load dot com and auto connect should be set to yes but that we need to give before config now this master connection is generated team 01 now we need to give the IP addresses for the streaming interface we need to modify and just keep on pressing tab and it will show you the next available commands we modify team 01 we give the IP address IPv4 address for sent OS 0 7.0 the pattern for IPv4 dot address is IP address slash subnet mask and space gateway. In the later versions, we need to give it IPv4 dot address first the IP address and subnet mask and then IPv4 dot gateway and then you define the gateway. <coughs> We are working with sent OS 7.0 IPv4 method is set to manual If you don't give the IPv4 method, it will pick up the IP from the DHCP server. We can also define the DNS. We can also define the DNS search. This is for the search domain that will be appearing under UTC resolve.com. It's up to you or it depends on your requirements whether you want to give it or not. Connection dot auto connect is set to yes. That is once we restart the machine or restart the service, this interface should come back automatically. Let's add two slave interfaces for this connection. You press the double tab and it will show you available interfaces 
first interface will be S3 and second one will be S8. Slave 1 is S3. And we need to define the master for this slave. That is my team. Same way you can define the slave 2 for ENP0 as H. Now everything seems to be okay now as we are on the SSH connection. So if you restart the machine we might lose the connectivity. So we will access the console and restart the network service. the network service has been restarted and my team interface has picked up the given IP address in the team DCTL we can show or we can display the configuration of teaming interface shows that we have two interfaces that are part of this team and runner is running as load, load balance is acting as a runner for this particular configuration. Two one zero is the management IP and two hundred is for the link aggregation or for the teaming IP. We will test the teaming interface with two hundred and management with two one zero. We need to set up the second machine with the same configurations so that we can test both interconnectivity between both the machines for teaming configuration. I forgot to change the host name for the second machine. We are on 211 and this is the configuration for the second machine. This machine is on 210. This is system 1 and the other machine is system 2. This is system 1 is on 210 and system 2 is on 211. <coughs> uh, 
I'll change the post length. Now system two on system two my team interface is on two two zero IP. So we'll give a ping from system one to system two. Ping is working fine. And this means that the connectivity is okay. give a continuous thing and bring down one of the slaves of this this teaming interface and we will see the behavior of ping or the response of the ping slave one is down but there is no disconnectivity for the ping deploy now we'll bring up slave one and bring down slave two and see the changes in the ping response we are not losing any connectivities check the status, slave 2 is down but still it's pingable bring up the slave 2 again Now we bring down, we give a ping to management IP of 211 from system 1 to system 2 and bring down the management interface to see the behavior of ping response if it's not a teaming connection. Definitely it will go down. destination host and reachable so we need to access the console and bring up the ethernet interface back to live Status for system one uh, on this machine and bring up the Ethernet zero interface. I'm trying to display both the windows to show you the changes or show you the behavior once we bring it up. Now the ping response is back to life again. We again verify the status of teaming connections. These are the ports that are taking part with this configuration. 
team NL my team ports will display the ports and their network speed and team DCTL will display the status of these two ports. So this is how you set up teaming or link aggregation using teaming on CentOS 0 7.0 You can verify these configuration files from this path for team, for slaves and for Ethernet 0 This is for the team 0 1 This is just for your information. Also you can verify for the slaves or you can see the slave settings over here. Thank you for watching this lecture. Please join this channel.